so you you made me think about so many things, and I, I want to I want you to keep going because your story is amazing, right? But I, I I think about so many things as you as you talk about your story. I mean, one one thing I w- I would say is differentiate or die, right? I mean, in my businesses that have changed just the same as yours, and and if, and I. I read a book years ago that I always recommend to people. It's an easy read and it's just Blue Ocean Strategy. Have you heard that? I have not. Blue Ocean Strategy is just a book about, about exactly what you're doing and what you, your mindset. You, you could write this book. I mean, and, and I, I think exactly the same way now, but I didn't, you know, 20 years, 25 years ago. Uh, but bottom line is it's, it's, if you don't differentiate, you know, just, just figure that you're going to be a commoditized product and, and, you, and you're going to struggle to stay alive. You may be in a, in a business today that's you know, very profitable and, and uh, very rewarding, but, but tomorrow it could change because more people see that industry and they get, be- they, they, they push the industry with technology to get more efficient than you if you're not thinking forward, right? And so, so basically it's about swimming out. If you think about a red shark infested waters, right? Where they, sh- they yeah. just <laughs> nipping each other's ass, right? And they're, and, and, and they're fins, whatever. And it's a bloody, bloody waters. <laughs> your, your focus is to swim out beyond them and, and away from them in blue waters. And what does, what, is, what, what does that but differentiation, right? So the commoditized shark-infested waters are not, not a good place to be, as you and I both know. You can swim out in the, the blue waters. It's, the only way you do it is by differentiating so strong that your customers look at you differently as, uh, as, as, a, as a great partner because you have, you have uh, ideas, innovation that your competition doesn't have, right? So I, and I think about what you're doing. You're constantly doing that. You're constantly reinventing and reinventing as technology continues to advance and, and opportunities you know, continue to arise with that. So it's really, it's really cool to, to hear, to listen to your story because no, that's what I think about every time, every time you pivot, right? Every time you, 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 you have that little that challenge, you recreate yourself. And initially, I, I, and, and we also learned that through that book and others I read um, that uh, very often second generation or new team uh, buys a company or, 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 they, or, or old, you know, second, third generation coming into a business, and they, they, they have that protective mode, right? That they're about protecting yes. and, and not losing this, this great uh, golden goose, right? And, and with that mindset, often they lose it all because they're, they're not the entrepreneurial, uh, innovative uh, company that once was, that your dad kind of, you know, started originally serving people, right? So, so I, lo- I love that. And, you know, we, we, we've got a, a few stories on our podcast that, that intertwine with all the stuff you're saying. Um, we, we have a, a gentleman, Anthony Saliba, who was a, a great trader of the 80s and 90s, who uh, invented technology that he eventually sold. And he's got technology today. He's growing in the Chicago market. Anthony Saliba is an amazing guy. You should listen to his story in, in Ditch, on Ditch Digger. But um, bottom line is uh, he, he was part of the team that was or the, the group that was going to buy the Chicago uh, Stock Exchange uh, before before Trump's election. If you remember, um, uh, the, the, you know, the, the, the um, people were criticizing uh, Chicago and, and uh, the Chinese for about, for about buying this market, China, you know, yes. China money. And it, was no, an that. and it was an entrepreneur, not like the Chinese government. It was a, it was a Chinese entrepreneur that was partners yeah. with Anthony. And Anthony uh, and this, this gentleman worked so hard to have the deal done. It was kind of done. And uh, it was approved by the state, the city. And it was, they're ready to close. And then after that, that, it was publicized. And Trump actually said something you know, negative about it, not really knowing the whole story. Um, that, that, that deal crashed. The, the, the New York Stock Exchange bought the Chicago Stock Exchange, I, right? I, I think you, you may have heard you know, all the story. Yeah, um, there's been a lot of consolidation. Yeah, and they basically ended all, all job and opportunities there, where Tony would have had many jobs there. It would have been a, would have been a, a vibrant, uh, a vibrant not, not like it once was, but he had, he had a, uh, his technology was going to be uh, put in place, and he had great jobs out of Chicago there. And that, that all kind of went by the wayside with the New York Stock Exchange buying instead. But anyway, long, you know, long story, but that kind of, it, it makes me think about, again, that, that great uh, mecca that that once was, and it's nothing today, right? And, and if those traders didn't change, you know, what they did, um, boy, they're, 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 not, they're not doing so well today, right? Unless they really reinvented themselves as, as you and I exactly. have to do. So that, right. that, that's, that's, uh, that's really cool stuff. I, I appreciate uh, where you went with all that. Um, sure. tell, me, tell me about you as a kid, watching your dad and, 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 and watching, watching him, you know, jump into business, taking risks. You, you know, I know your, your brother's an entrepreneur also and a business leader. What, what, what was that family dynamics that created this, you know, the, the Raj of today and, and David, David also and, and, and this, uh, 
this mindset of leading, leading people and, and building business that you guys have? 